Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta de Crochet and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a bookmark and uh, this is a feather pattern. You can call it a pickup feather as well and uh, it is a beautiful pattern for a bookmark. So for this one, this too, I've made with my 100% acrylic yarn. So these are the 100% acrylic yarn. And this one I've used with my 50% of acrylic and a 50% of a cotton yarn. So it is a blend. This yarn is a blend of 50% acrylic and a 50% cotton. You can use 100% cotton as per your requirement. And for this two, I've used my 2 mm of the hook, while this one I've used two and a half mm of the hook and today we're gonna work with the two and a half mm but uh, if you are not comfortable with two and a half you can go ahead with the two mm and the pattern will be the same so don't worry you can use two mm of the hook so for this one let's begin okay so here again i've used my a blend of a yarn uh, it is 50% uh, acrylic and a 50% cotton yarn and I've used my two and a half mm of the hook and as I said you can use two mm of the hook if two and a half is too thick for you you can go ahead and use a two mm of the hook the pattern will be the same um, so for that one just let's begin now here we're gonna start with this circle so for that one we are gonna need a magic circle but for the magic circle I'm going to I'm going to leave this tail here and with your working yarn put this yarn around your two fingers now take your two fingers and put this yarn around your two fingers for five times so it is one two three four and five and here it is now after the fifth time the sixth time put your this sixth strain of yarn at the back and insert your hook in this way so your hook will be under your this five strain of yarns and about the sixth one and just grab your yarn and turn it and take this uh, strain of yarn the working yarn and make a chain one here like this and now this chain one we are not going to count as any stitch this chain one i've made only to secure my this magic loop this is your magic loop it's just that we have put our five to six strains of yarn here so that we can get this thicker part in the middle now here we're gonna have 20 single crochets around this uh, magic circle so insert your hook into your magic circle grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and that's your first single crochet and we're gonna do 20 single crochets here three four five 19 and 20 so this is my 20 single crochets for my first round round number one and now for the round number two we are directly going to insert our hook into this first single crochet and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make our first single crochet here so remember we are not gonna insert our hook into the first stitch and then we are gonna make the slip stitch and then chain one instead of doing that i've inserted my hook into the first stitch of this round and i've directly make my this first single crochet for my round number two so this is the round number two and uh, this is my first single crochet and for another three stitches we are going to do one single crochet on each stitch so this is our first single crochet and then we are going to do another three stitches here so it's in total is going to be four stitches so it's one two three and four so for round number two we have made our four single crochets here and now we are gonna chain up three so it's one two and three and now we are going to insert our hook into our fifth stitch this the next stitch remember we are already been working on this fourth stitch now insert your hook into your fifth stitch grab your yarn and make a single crochet here and from now onwards we are going to do 
one single crochet on each stitch and we're going to have our 15 single crochets as we have already made this fifth single crochet here another 15 so in total we're going to have 16 single crochets so first four single crochets then chain three and then another 16 single crochets so in total it's going to be 20 stitches here so that's chain three one two three and here it is i made my 16 single crochets here after making my this four single crochets then chain three and then 16 single crochets for this round number two now for the round number three we are not going to insert our hook into this first stitch but we are going to go back on this circle so for that one chain up three here to make a picket so now we are going to make this picket here this one so just chain up three it's one two and three and now turn your work and now onwards we're going to do our stitches back loop only so from now onwards all single crochets will be your back loop only now insert your hook into your first stitch uh, this is your first stitch where you have made this three chains insert your hook because this is the picket so we are not gonna go any way further we are gonna insert our hook into our first stitch grab your yarn make your first single crochet here and now from here for next 16 stitches we are going to do one single crochet on each stitch back loop only so as we have already made our first stitch here for single crochet we're going to make our second single crochet and remember we're going to need 16 single crochets here so it's one two three four and that's my 16 stitches and now in this chain three space we are going to do two single crochets so it's one and two and now chain up three here one two and three and we are going to do another two single crochets into this chain three space so insert your hook into that chain three space grab your yarn make your first single crochet and your second single crochet like this and now here we are next two stitches we are going to do one single crochet on each stitch back loop only so insert your hook into your back loop grab your yarn make your first single crochet and make your second single crochet and remember we are not going to work on this uh next two stitches we're going to skip the stitches and this is the end of our round number three so this is the end of our round number three and now for the round number four chain up three one two and three and this chain three we are again going to make a picket with the help of this chain three so turn your work and insert your hook into your first stitch like this for your round number four grab your yarn and make your first single crochet here and here we're going to have four single crochets one single crochet on each stitch so it's one two three and four again as we are here in this chain three space we're going to make two single crochets into this chain three space so it's one and two chain up three one two and three and again into this chain three space we're going to make another two single crochets so it's one and two and now we're going to do 14 stitches one single crochets on each stitch and that will be our back loop only so this is our first this is our first stitch so insert your hook into your first stitch grab your yarn make your first single crochet two three here it is i've done my 14 single crochets back loop only and now we are going to repeat our round number three here so let's repeat our round number three so let's chain up three here it's one two and three turn your work insert your hook into your first stitch back loop only grab your yarn and make your first single crochet and keep on doing one single crochet in each stitch for next 16 stitches
now again we're gonna do another two single crochets into this chain three space so it's one and two now chain up three one two and three again we're gonna do two single crochets into this chain three space so it's one and two and now we're gonna do two stitches we're gonna do one single crochet on each stitch back loop only so it's one and two and that's it we're not gonna work the next four stitches now again we're gonna chain up three so it's one two and three we're gonna repeat our round number four here so chain three turn your work insert your hook into your first single crochet grab your yarn make your first single crochet back loop only and another next three stitches we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch back loop only in total we're gonna have four single crochets back loop only and here it is now into this chain three space make another two single crochets so it's one and two chain three one two and three and again into this chain three space we're gonna do another two single crochets and now for next 14 stitches we're gonna do one single crochet on each stitch back loop only so that's our first stitch one two three and here it is my 14 stitches are done and now i'm again gonna repeat my round number three so it's let's chain up three one two and three turn your work and do next 16 stitches one single crochet on each stitch back loop only and now keep on repeating this round number three and round number four until your desired length so here it is this is your work now whatever length you want just go that far and i will meet you at the end so that i will tell you what to do at the end here how to finish off this project so you can go as long as you want here again you can go as long as you want and i will meet you at the end here and here it is i have made my eight pickets on both sides so it's this one is on the right side so count from here it's one two three four five six seven eight eight pickets here and it's one two three four five six seven and i'm gonna work on the last picket my eighth picket here i have made six pickets so it's one two three four five and six one two three four five and six so you can um, go on any size you want i've made eight pickets here and now this is my last picket and here gonna chain up three one two and three I'll insert my hook into my first stitch make my first single crochet back loop only second third and fourth so my four single crochets here back loop only and now i'm gonna make another two single crochets into this chain three space so it's one and two and now instead of chaining up three i will chain up six here so it's one two three four five and six turn your work and insert your hook into your second chain so this is the back portion of my second chain and insert my hook grab my yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here and again into the next chain grab your yarn make a slip stitch into your third chain insert your hook make a third slip stitch and four slip, slip stitch and the last one my fifth slip stitch and it's gonna be like this now in this chain three space we're gonna make another two single crochets and now we're going to make another 14 single crochets 
one single crochet is on each stitch for the next 14 stitches and that will be our back loop only so it's one two three here it is my 14 single crochets back loop only and i'm not gonna work on this four single crochets so leave them and now you can cut your yarn so cut your yarn and secure your last stitch like this now turn your work take your needle simply insert your this loose end inside and secure your this loose end so it's gonna be like this so keep on doing it and here it is it is ready and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then Bye.